Hi, my name is Peach, and today I'll be showing you how to make a VR rotate sphere in DaVinci Resolve. The solution was found by Vision, and without further ado, let me not waste your time. The first thing we're going to do is have our clips laid out on the timeline like this. I have both these clips here at one second each, and then we're going to add an adjustment clip over each of them. Once we have that, we're going to go into Fusion on the first adjustment clip. Here, the first thing I'm going to do is add a crop node. In the crop node, we're going to select the Keep Centered button, and since we're going to make the composition square, we're going to change our X and Y sizes to 1080. Once you have that done, we're going to hit Shift Space and add a Sphere Map node, a Shape 3D node, and a Render 3D node. We're going to take the crop node and connect it to the Sphere Map. Then we're going to go to the shape 3D node and change the shape to a sphere. Then go to the radius setting and change this number to 500 and change both the base height and subdivisions to 100. Now what we're going to do is view the render 3D and change the render type to OpenGL UV render. Now the last thing we're going to do is go to the image, uncheck auto resolution and set the resolution to 1080 by 1080. Now in order to control the rotate sphere, we're going to go back to the sphere map and go to the rotation menu where we can either use the X rotation or the Z rotation to keyframe the motion that we want to have. I'm going to keyframe at the end of our clip and change the value to something like this. And several frames back, we're going to keyframe here and put the value back to zero. Then I'm going to open the spline graph, drag the sphere map node into here, hit zoom to fit, highlight all the keyframes, hit as, then make a curve that looks something like this. This should be good. Now what we can do is copy all these nodes, go into the next adjustment clip, paste them in, re-keyframe our rotation so it starts at the beginning of the clip, at the bottom of the screen, and over time we're going to keyframe it back to normal. And that is your VR rotate sphere transition. Now if you're too lazy to recreate this effect on your own, you can actually get it on Reactor. If you don't know what Reactor is, then make sure to go watch this video here in order to download it. Once you have Reactor installed, open it up and get the Carta VR transform tools. You can simply hit the check mark next to them and then just close Reactor and just restart DaVinci. And then back in Fusion, you simply add the rotating accurate rectangular node. That's the same thing, that's what Pete showed you, but now you can just change the set rotation. If you have any more questions or suggestions on what I should do in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you would like to join the Resolve AMV community Discord and newly added Gilded server, I will link those down below as well as my own server. If you would like to join and with that, subscribe and have a good day.